In this video, we continue exploring the plant factory. We did look on the interface and we actually even create a grass as a, our first simple project. And if you miss them, be sure to go check playlist for the those videos and I will put links down below for you. And this one, I want to start looking a little bit more on the properties and some on additional components. We can use it inside the applications to build plants or maybe something more than just the plants. Okay, as we're beginning, and this is your default preview, by the way, all this UI layout, you can modify if you need it, but for the purpose of this videos, we'll just keep it as vanilla as installed as possible. And as we start, you'll notice in our node view right here, where we have all of these components, we have it four of them, age, root, season, and health. This is all properties can affect the plants. So we actually can make our plants growing from small to big, we can play um, effect on the root supply and roots is default, it's where they plant and assign to specific areas. We can work with the seasons, change, depend what type of seasons plant can grow the leaves, make flowers, create the fruit if you want. It just depends on what type of plant you're creating. And of course, health, some plants thrive, some plants is dying. So you can work with these properties. For example, like with the age, if we create it, we'll need connect nodes and we can modify with this. So let's go click on our root. Same things. So you'll notice you just have a basic root. And by the way, you'll notice we have some materials and those materials you can preset. And in some cases, I recommend to preset here because there you can say this material will flow from here to all your plant. So you don't need to go and change materials on every branch and everything. So you can actually can go and select pre-default material, like for example here. And you'll notice this material will, as we start creating other components from parent, it can go up and up. Okay, so we have it our root, you know what? And we can create something from there. On our left side, we have those nodes. And this is fast toolbar. So we can add those components and bring but also if you right click on a node, you'll notice you'll have all additional properties, well, all additional access to components and some functionalities. For example, geometry will allow us to create almost all of this. It's what we see on our left top bar. You can right here, the simple segment, advanced, all this after grow, leave, hydro, all of this additional, pro, uh, all these components that we can use it. Next, we have our additional selectors, loops, which has allowed us to create, and we actually, maybe we should look on the loops in a second. We have our splines, miscellaneous options, which are a little bit more advanced. And of course, we have our input-output nodes that is a little bit more um, advanced. And also, some of those input-outputs, we can create additional parameters that allowed uh, users to control our plant. So you actually can create plant here and says, hey, I want to create variations of the flowers color and I want to give this to the ability to the user or to the creator who is using Vu and use this plant inside to modify colors of those flowers. So you can actually can create here a custom um, parameter and export this way. You also have a different type of noise similar as we do mostly you will worry for texture or maybe distribution systems fractals color texture maps which is can apply with other things so this is all familiar or something new maybe um, elements like combiners everything um, again you know personally when i look on all of this i um, get confused sometimes like what i need to use this for and everything and for me when i start learning some applications it's very hard to going over you read manual and after you look you forget all the stuff so my best approach what i love to do and it's how i approach this it's a hands-on so don't worry right now you don't remember some of those elements and we're going and use them and most most of them you maybe never even use you know just learn those components that you're going to use but we will look on all of them and the reason so you need to know you need to know what is in your tool bell so you know which tool you need to use it. But in most cases, you'll probably use just a handful of those tools. Okay, so we're right here. We have our geometry. And you know what? Let's go in geometry. We'll take advanced segments. It's almost the same. We have just a little bit more properties and 
advanced segment and we can connect notice it does not connect directly because for this we need go inside and enable after connect right here so we have it automatic convert data but we don't have it after connect you can enable um, to me sometimes get confused I like to create and connect by myself next what we want to do is go and connect to our root right here um, but notice we have it more components to expand them let's go click on ours and we want to expand if we click on the side and notice as we're clicking the expand all more and more okay so it's hiding on the right side again we disable we're hiding we display a little bit more we display a little bit more it just always left click we'll do this and right will reset and let's go just oop, oop, oop. there you go click on all of them so here we have it, all our components that we can use it and just for fun example we can go look and say okay what do we want we want our link to be connected correct so for that we want to connect link um just to play let's go connect to the uh, edge we have it plus right here you can click and it will expand and shrink all hidden or you also if you're going inside the parameters uh where we have it all of them just go see if you go over it's kind of underscore them kind of highlight almost we'll say and if you click it will add you allow you to add all these additional parameters connect parameter publish parameter it's again publish if you allowed other um, user maybe utilize this but we go to connect and you'll notice right here we have it also connect or we can modify externally our connection it's not what I want to do yes so we'll go to expand our segment we'll take link and we can even connect to the edge just for fun okay on this case our link will direct to our edge so if we go to set up and we can modify age let's go say one one year notice how it's short we'll see it says it's one year it will be that short 10 years it will be that big so they it's we don't necessarily need to do we want to scale it a little bit more interesting and more creative way but technically we can go right here and says hey we want to modify tree grow with the edge so you can see how it's fun it's easy to do this way uh, let's go delete this connection we don't need it okay we found how we can access those parameters how we can expand them and uh, sometimes when expand it's look very scary in this case so we don't want to do this let's go hide all of them okay we'll just click right there okay well as we're working with nodes and you'll notice if i click on them they're disappearing so you can put it name and depend how you want to name you can create my personal approach because i like to easy identify components i would kind of suggest also change maybe color so if you select like trunk i rename it and on my inner properties where it says trunk you see this kind of color square if we click on this square it's come up with all these different colors so then you can select some specific color and you'll notice a node now it's colored this way if you don't do this every node will look exactly the same like green color and sometimes it's a hard to find and if you don't name them properly they will start all have it similar names like segment advanced segment advanced segment two three four so it's very hard um organizations when you start building complex elements i would organization help a lot so in this case i like to organize them by the color and also give it name so just make a little bit easy to work with more complex structures and right here we have it our trunk and as we create it we have it access to specific properties by the way on the top this is our global yes and we look before we have it parameters for our specific segment our global setup we have it our positions for the root you remember is located the main root we have a general scale and you can see the uh, one meter on one meter so it's a matrix metric if we need it we can change to imperial and also below right there it's kind of interesting things because we have it our um seed generator and this is like randomly created seed right now you don't see any different but what it does it's actually going and randomize some of the parameters 
and randomize those parameters. We go inside and let's say right here, we'll look before the link is 10 meters. Yes. What if I say I want two meters and it's meaning that plant link can be anywhere from eight to 12. So this is randomized factor. And I highly recommend for you to utilize this randomizations almost in every good <laughs> related options for your plan because this is what make him look unique because if you just keep it hard everything all just one number and you export your plant and you start using in the future they all will be exactly some this is variations it's what you add in those ones it's what will uh, make a difference so like here trapezium let's go just say um we can set any of these or you can work with the zero let's go right here i think 10 is just work for now so when we're done change for example here let's go to stop and we'll click several times and you can see this random seed how it's changing it just randomly generated it's a nice way to test also your plant so when i create plant and i add a bunch of random stuff i add leaves distribution everything i want to be sure that all variations look good so many times I just go back to setup going right here with a random new seed and I just going see it's create different type of seed and just watching okay how they will look with different type of variations just will help me polish and optimize to make them look good as well if we connected age and health right here we can also modify and see if they um, dying or trying so you can create uh, gravity one is by default to earth but you can also create plant that maybe live in a space you know so you have a gravity zero you can all experiment with this how this work and as well if you have it your seasons collect you have a time of the seasons and you can adjust based on the, those elements so right here your wind option again we're looking right now on all global values and here you have it direction of the wind how uh, gusting work how the specific branches and specific branches you can specify how they will affect to the wind so let's look right here we're going and we can experiment i'll enable wind right here and it uh, does not look anything it's a reason because if we look on our trunk our trunk is stiff right now yes it does not because it's what you want and the plant you need a very strong wing to make big trunk to move around and we can also test create more sensitive to the wind so for this let's go inside I think our influence right here and notice we have the wind sensitivity which is disabled we need to enable wind and gust motion for this as we enable you can see just a little bit shaking so let's go ahead pop up quite a bit higher so we can see and I notice right here it start more sensitive to the wind we can go very crazy and there you go you can see how it is now more flexible and sensitive to the wind so we can actually test and you can set specific sensitivity to the like softer branch or um, extremely long marshmallow or some other thing so you can actually play with this sensitivity and create this way and it is nice if you do work with the plants that you expect be animated then you probably want to be sure your sensitivity is set properly for the trunk branches or other elements or maybe if you create um, sci-fi maybe just a noodles forest forest made out of noodles maybe you want to create kind of funny things so it's it's all up to your imaginations but just let you know right here where we test it okay let's disable our wind preview and again you notice on the top right here it's where we can kind of test previews again this is we're going about how you can look and optimize i'm going just to turn off and it's of course i will turn off wind and gust it's make those disabled because we're not using them right now Okay, it's our wind and here you have your properties for generic wind, how much breeze you want to test and other, this is global, we'll test on other stuff. We also have options for the our meshing and we look a little bit more on this as we're going to optimize because some models, and you will notice when you upload it, when you're using the, the plant factories plants inside the view, it's come up sometimes with warning and says, hey, it's too big mesh that's take a lot of 
polygons and everything so just give you a warning here we can a little bit optimizing on that okay, we have our global effectors the bases some presets if you're using any of them and of course post processing mostly for the preview when we render and you can render here to um, see how the, your plants will look in a inside the view because to realize and share same engine on the rendering what do you see here it's the same plant what you'll see inside the view which is very useful in this case well let's go back to parameters for our current trunk what we're using and then trunk depend on what segments you're using some of these properties may change but in general you will have it very similar ones and you can technically just have it only the advanced trunk and create almost everything from that with exceptions and exceptions it's some of this like hydra or the um, orange or other things those is more specific object how the distribution so those are a little bit different but technically you are can create from there okay so in the if we look on properties you have your segment and that's what we're working with the general properties we have it our type of the skin um, usually you keep it on a standard but you can import geometry if you need it link it's what we saw how high remember this is work in the meters so whatever you see it's a meters and if you work on a plants be sure you set properly you can go inside the settings you remember before when we go options and set there because I did this mistake before honestly I create a, a work on the flower and i did not realize that i was in meters so i have this gigantic huge flowers i created because the scale i forgot to change that scale but just keep in mind this is in the meters here okay so you have your minimum radius currently inherited from the root it's what we need to do uh trapezium how much is scale and again those is properties and how this just as we're going to create more and more plants, we'll utilize them and we'll also look what is different, you know, what a property. I, I would recommend you just go and play around, just try create by yourself. Um, and of course, some properties we will explain as we're going around, but don't worry, just experiment. That is best way to learn. Okay, next we have axis and that's how the control going straight cup what is created on the top how it's a round you want pinch and other stuff bottom cup it's on a bottom of a tree you have it also root flares by default is disabled if we enable you can see right here it's creating uh, roots and the reason is flowers don't have it necessarily roots trees do have it so it's the reason why it's disabled but for the plants i recommend enable roots for the trees at least and you can modify the how many remember roots you want to have it if we randomize or almost always whatever property if you think you will use the randomize that as will help you also can randomize high of this base depth how deep they're going around how wide is your also how wide will be cover you know what let's go a little bit right here a little bit lower so we'll have it some singles and personally they look okay to tight ground but sometimes I like to create roots that is kind of twirling out and going around you know kind of like singles and seems like with this root flare you know unless I can create you can do this if we treat them as a branches drop them very low and just going from here and we're going to do in some again I'm sometimes you know sorry for all this address we will do this but it's what I'm planning. I'm planning to do in the future, and I know what we kind of going to do. And those roots I want to do when they come from bottom. And just jumping ahead, it's not that hard to do. We'll just need to add another kind of like segment here, connecting to our child. And you know, as we connect and see the branches. Yeah. All what we need to do is just go inside our children as we add it. And just drop down them you know just uh, says okay we want to put them like on a ground yes it's what we want to do we want to put them on a the ground um, and we can also distribute them properly but it's all what it is it's like branches which is will be on the ground so we'll play kind of with this stuff okay so let's go back to our trunk parameters 
we also have an option as I said before we look on a meshing same things so where we can modify influences it is um influence maybe of some twisting we can do in some cases like here like expirations look what's happening if we add it and see how it start kind of perversions because it does work with how many um effectors what is the noise creating but generally again we don't need to create this big just 0 0.1 and let's go 0 0.1 here it just add some little bit you know not exactly straight more natural look but this is actually effectors so that we can use it many times what we're going to use it is enable local base here and from this we can go make curls like swirl and some other effects which is kind of look very cool um here and we can create properties and can see how they're affecting again in some cases think this is additional effectors on the geometry or how it's will going around okay we have it, our materials and materials is um I will say it's a complex, simple. I don't know how properly put it because it is very simple way you can just select and add material from this way. But you also have the ability to set very complex relations here. For example, for dual sided leaves, you can say I want this color here, different texture on the bottom, so you can have the options of this. And also how you mapping properly. Um, I do have some materials you can play around with this, but um, general it is i don't know what complex simple how you can name this anyway but this is system it can be very simple but at the same time provide you plenty of the flexibility to create very realistic um texturing to this case of course it will be some tips and tricks how you can optimize this you have your transformations options and this is like global you know you want scale you want shrink adjusting and uh, when you do like you can apply this to the object as well this is just general changing geometry for example if you want it you can scale down in one side and you can see just a very basic but what it does is create and just scale like this so you can change a little bit more geometry this way same offset angles everything so this is just a generic not um, natural but I will say generic as a mesh as a model transformation can be and you notice we as we add it's add additional children's um, currently I disable so it's not there but anytime when you create something new and you can connect right here you can see it will be going under the children here you can change this name it's what I recommend and then you can go inside and work with a specific effect so this is not same parameters as if we're going inside this is not all of these parameters this is specific on distribution of this child for example you can say right here four and this is we have it four of them so if we're going and we'll say i want eight it will create eight instance of the child uh, we have it other ways where i can also to do instead this number with the loops but that is a little bit more in a future way okay and here we also have it on the advanced segments you can see we have distribution orientation pruning so it's kind of work if you think with the uh, branches so you kind of work with this and as well with the leaves and as we connect this is proper is for each of those instances how we can create but also if you go inside now inside this new advanced node you'll notice you have it exactly the same and you also have additional children so you can actually nest them you can connect this connect to another children another children and so on you can kind of have a very fun distributions going from there and um you can also automate this how i say through the loops and it's probably will be a better way to do with the branches because with the loops you can create uh random way how many they can go branches from one so it's give you additional randomizations and this is another kind of tip and suggestions remember just to add more randomizations to plant you're creating because that will create unique the one will look exactly the same each plant will have their own uniqueness so you will truly will create a species of those plants and allow the randomly they look 
different, which is look very natural. So this is kind of overview of these specific properties. And usually in my previous videos, and you, you can watch them because almost all of this exactly the same is in my previous, it's a new versions, but again, they add some stuff, but most of these properties will be same what we've done in the previous tutorials in the down at a geek at play or a playlist. So it's multiple places you can view them, download purchasing um, when we go to over properties. But I also, I, again, I found out the best way to know this properties, it is by working with the projects and then what are we going to do so on my list project for the future let you know we're going to build the towers yes not the trees nothing just the real rock made towers because this tool you can build a lot of cool stuff okay towers we're going to build gears uh machinery we're going of course build flowers trees we'll build all these plants you know natural different type plants and you know what let me know what you needed just a uh, join i have a discord specifically just dis designed for this with uh, already people there so i'll put a link for the discord down below so join the discord look on the challenges what we have there look questions tips uh and let me know what you want to build in a plant factory what you interested what is your questions i mean that is will be guided us to what we in the future which directions we're going say so it's open course you know what i mean we'll create um we'll focus on what you think it's needed well thank you for watching and have a great day see you